hi you all I'm here to review the products that I used in my last wash um, which was a few days ago and as you can see my hair is now poofy um, and the reason why it's poofy is due to this bipolar weather that we have here where just a few hours ago it was thundering and raining cats and dogs and I got wet and now the Sun is out and the rain has ceased so go figure um yeah but I washed my hair with the Oribe shampoo. All of these products that I am discussing in this review were provided by NaturallyCurly.com and I was not paid so the reviews will be unbiased. This shampoo, um, they don't carry at Curl Mart and I did a search online and saw that um, this is basically carried mostly by places where you have to order it like amazon.com and a few um beauty supply stores that um carry salon products this shampoo is a bit pricey i saw um the price vary from 24 to 44 dollars for this shampoo so it definitely isn't cheap but it did leave my hair feel moisturized. My hair was not stripped at all. And the scent is very faint. It's not one of those products that has a very overwhelming, overpowering scent. It's very faint, which I like. After I shampooed my hair with that, I used the My Honey Child Honey Hair Mask. It is for dry and brittle hair. This is available on Chromart. This is natural. Uh, it has purified water, unfiltered raw honey, shea butter, coconut butter, mango butter, coconut milk, honey fragrance oil, and vitamin A and E. That's it. <laughs> Very short ingredients listing. Um, this is freaking awesome. Loved it. I didn't use my steamer because I was being lazy and I know if I would have used my steamer it really would have intensified um, the effect. Uh, it suggests that you can leave it on for 10 minutes, then rinse out with warm water, or for extra conditioning, apply a plastic cap and sit under a hooded dryer for 20 minutes, rinse with warm water. I did not do the hooded cap, but I did put a plastic cap on and let it sit in my hair for about 20 minutes. I initially planned to do 10, but I ended up doing other stuff and it turned out to be about 20. Um, loved it. The heat, the natural heat, got a kind of got trapped in the cap, so it did have a little heat under the cap. I just didn't feel like sitting under my heated cap or my steamer. Um, it smells, it smells so good. It smells like honey and like almond I don't this smells so good mm -mm -mm. but this is how much I used for one treatment if you can see so this is eight ounces and it probably wouldn't last very long because like I said I use that much for just one treatment so that looks like it may be about two ounces. So I use one fourth of the product just for one deep condition. So one could definitely run through this quickly, but it's great. For my leave-in, I use the Mop Leave-In Conditioner, which I've actually used before. I purchased it from Ulta. Uh, this is available on the Curl Mart website. This leave-in is not natural, so for those of you who only want to use natural products, this would not be for you. Uh, it does have dimethicone in it, uh, bentramonium, methyl sulfate. It has some parabens in here, but it does have some good things. It has avocado and silica, aloe, vitamin E, Uh, coconut or palm, glycerin, carrot juice. 
So it has some good stuff in here. It's creamy. It's not very thick, but it is a little creamy. It's not a watery leave-in. And I like this as well. It does leave my hair soft, which is pretty much the end goal. If a product makes my hair hard, then it must go. So it does leave my hair soft. So thumbs up. It doesn't really have a scent at all. So for those who are sensitive to fragrance, this would be a good leave-in because it really doesn't have an aroma at all. And then I use the Oribe Curl by Definition Cream. It is a cream as it has in the name. Now, um, this is what it looks like. It also has a faint fragrance. It does have a fragrance to it, but it's not extreme. <clears throat> this was better for me using on twists. For a wash and go, I wouldn't recommend this because it really doesn't for my hair, it doesn't define it any more than it naturally is, and it doesn't really give much hold. So to just use the shingling method and use that for a wash and go would result in poofy hair for me. But using it on twists, it works much better. So I like it. Again, that one's expensive too, so I don't think that I would purchase Thor Rebay products because they are so costly and they have to be ordered. I don't think they can be found locally. So, you know, for a product to be $24 and above, it really has to like completely wow me. I can't just like it. I have to love it. And I like those products, but they are products that I feel that I can't be without. So, it's not worth it for me. Now, um, the mop leave is pretty good and it can be found locally. Like I said, I purchased my first bottle from Ulta. And this bad boy, yes. For sure, I would order this, purchase this. It's great. Now, I don't know about the cost effectiveness of it since it's only 8 ounces. And it would take... A chunk to use on my thick hair but it's great and it smells wonderful so yeah love it so I like all of the products there was not one that I didn't like in in this stash so hopefully I helped you all and if you have any questions let me know